D of question number two says, at t equals zero, the particle Q is at a position of negative 90. So that's important to note that we have our initial condition here. And we can start our integral off. So we want to know the position of particle Q. So we want to integrate the function V of Q. And we can then compare that to a distance that we found in part uh, part C, I think, or part B. So let's take a look at the area function, the area, sorry, the, the position function. We'll call this x as a function of q, x as a function of t, the position of q. And that's going to start at negative 90. And then we're going to have our integral look like this, from 0 to t of the area underneath that curve, vq, and we'll call that variable z. Just change the variable so that just is different from the ones we have so far. So just indicating that this initial condition needs to show up in my integral. And it shows up here and here. And we want to find the position at, so x of q when t equals 2.8 and then we can compare the two positions between p and q at time 2.8 so that works out to be negative 90 plus the integral from 0 to 2.8 under this new v function okay, this v function in fact I could just write it out as 45 root at root Z, we'll call that, and that's cosine of 0.063 Z squared, and that's going to be times dt. Okay, so when we work out this portion then, this portion is going to be the part of the graph that's we shaded here all the way to 2.8. Typing this into my graphing calculator, I get 135.9377. Okay, so it looks like this. 135.9377. That's our displacement from our initial position of 90. So the position at... 2.8 is going to work out to be 45.9377. That's going to be positive meters. So then the distance between the two point the two points. P and Q. Okay, so we find x of P at 2.8 minus x of Q at 2.8. From our previous problem, uh, so actually I'm just going to flip this around to keep it positive. So we're going to work, work it out to be 45.9377. The the position of P at 2.8, we worked it out as an approximation of the area under the curve using trapezoids as 40.75. So the distance they are apart is going to be 5.1877 approximately. Okay, and that's going to be meters apart.